Hey there, this is Nick from Income Digs. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're talking more about QuickBooks Online and specifically managing QuickBooks Online for your rental business. And I can make use of a new feature, which is applying late fees. Okay, so this has been a really big ask to QuickBooks to enable some kind of automated, automatic late fee feature. And we have it now, so it's pretty exciting because um, all of us who are property managers who are sending out invoices for our tenants to pay rent, we almost all have some kind of late fee built into our lease. So we now have the ability to build that into our invoicing system too. So we can automatically create that late fee and send it with the updated invoice to our customer. So I'm gonna show you how that works today and what our options are in dealing with that, okay? So if we get into QuickBooks here, what we're gonna do is look at an invoice that I have open for a tenant. So I just go to invoicing here and I have this invoice that's due on the 1st of September for $850, okay? So if I go into this invoice, it's for monthly rent and you don't see anything extra here. In the past, the way that you would add a late fee is you would, let's pretend for a second that this invoice is due on the 1st of September and it's the 6th of September, we passed the five day grace period. What I would do is on the 6th of September, I would add a new line item here and it would be for late fee, okay? And I would do late fee and I would do maybe it's like a $20 fixed rate and I would just do that, save and send it. All right, that's what you used to have to do. So you'd have to come in every you know six of the month, go through all your invoices and add that late fee, okay? But we don't have to do that anymore. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of that and I'm gonna save this. And let me show you where we can look at how to have QuickBooks do this automatically. All right, so if I X out of this and going to our account and settings, so going to your gear icon and go to your company account and settings, we're gonna go to advanced, okay? Actually, we're not gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go to sales, okay? Go to the sales tab here. And there's a ton of cool options here, and you can see the, those in beta are kind of the newer ones. And this one here, late fees, is in beta. And it's been actually around for almost a year, so it's, it's pretty um, good. You know, there, there's not many bugs or anything in it. And I'll show you kind of how this works. So I can click into this where it says off, and I can click default charge applied to, applied to overdue invoices. I can check that box, and then it's gonna ask me, how do I want to charge that, okay? So you can either do a flat fee or percentage of the remaining balance. I do for my invoices a flat fee, and that's how the lease is set up. So within the lease, it says that your rent is due on the first of the month, you have a four or five day grace period, after that date, you're gonna be charged $20 late fee. So that's how I do it here, I put $20 in here, and the frequency is once per invoice, all right? Now you could do a per day invoice, or a per day late fee as well, you can do like $5, per day is a kind of an interesting way to do it. Now you have to make sure that whatever you're doing with late fees is one, accounted for in your lease, that the tenant agreed to it, and two, that it's legal, okay? So some states have rules about how much you can charge in late fees, so make sure that whatever your lease says is legal for your state, okay? So I'm gonna do this $20 once per invoice, and then it's asking for a grace period. So you can choose whether or not to have a grace period. Mine is five days, okay? So if somebody pays me on the, the first, second, third, fourth of the month, no worries, I'd, I'd take the rent and you know try better next time. That's just how we de de uh, deal with it. So um, if I click save here, this will now apply to my future invoices. So I'll just click save, okay? And I'll click done, okay? Now if I go back to my invoice, and we can try to play with it a little bit to see what happens within QuickBooks, right? So if I go into my invoice date, and today I'm recording this video on the 22nd of August. So if I go into this and I say, let's pretend that the invoice was for the 21st of August. Actually, before I do that, look at this little thing here, late fees apply. So what's cool about QuickBooks is telling you that there's gonna be a late fee on this if it needs to, and if I could click on this, it tells me exactly what my rules are. Okay, so a flat fee of $20, uh, once per invoice, five day grace period. Great, understood. Okay, so that's neat. Now what I could do 
is I could try to trick this into thinking that it's late. So today's the 22nd of August. So let's pretend like this was due on the 8th of August. Okay, now because I just turned on my late fees, late fees won't apply because they were enabled after the due date. Okay, so you can always change a late fee manually or charge a late fee manually and that would be adding it like I did. Okay, so that's interesting. But, um, so what I can do is see that, you know, this one won't work because I just set up the late fee. So it won't like go back in time and give late fees to those invoices that are old, right? Which we wouldn't want it to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my late fees and I'm gonna take away the grace period, okay? So let's go to, all right, so let's go to my accounts and settings and I'm going to go to sales and flat fee, $20, and I'm going to say no grace period, okay? Now if I go into this invoice, and I make it due on today's date. Actually, if I made it due on, yep, so I'm gonna make it due on the 23rd of August, okay? So it's due on Friday. So what I'm expecting to happen is that this late fee will be added automatically on the 24th. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna pick back up on that date, the morning of the 24th, to ensure that that late fee got added and show you what that looks like. Okay, so stay tuned, I'll be back in just a couple days. All right, so welcome back to this tutorial. So we had that invoice set up. I adjusted things a little bit, so uh, the dates are just a little different, it's just a few days later. But what we can see from this invoice is that we have the rent as the first line and automatically QuickBooks adds the late fee in there. Okay, so it saves you a lot of time and ultimately it just makes your process that much more consistent. And what I found is that um, it's kind of cool free revenue that like as soon as it hits, most tenants pay it right away. They just never want to be late again. So it, it helps to make sure your tenants are paying a time and then here and there you get a little bit uh, extra cash. And that way you also make it a little bit less like I know when I first started out with real estate, you kind of feel like the bad guy adding late fees. You know, it's, it's now it's more, it's the process, it's the automatic system that's doing it and you kind of, you know, your hands are off it and you just set it and forget it. All right, so definitely take a look at late fees within QuickBooks Online. I think it'll help you with your rental business. Again, help with your process, help to keep your tenants paying you. Ultimately, you can't, as you grow your business, you can't be adding late fees manually to everything. It's just hard to keep up with it. And uh, the only way to stay consistent and be fair to all your clients is to have the system do it for you. All right, so thanks so much for watching this video. As always, we have a ton of free resources available on IncomeDigs.com. I want you to sign up for our, our email list and you get a free QuickBooks Online setup guide, all right? And you also, if you would like to sign up for our VIP list, we're prepping a really awesome info-packed course to get you up and running on QuickBooks as well. Super jam-packed with information. We're gonna be launching that uh, very soon here. So sign up and make sure you get early access to it. We'll see you on the next video lesson.